so in this video we're looking at creating a frequency histogram and frequency polygon so this is GeoGebra Classic when you start up it looks something like this uh, we won't be needing this keyboard area down here so we just need some more room up here we got our, our menu and what we want is we want to view the spreadsheet so this is a spreadsheet here's our data that we want to enter we've got the marks uh, our x value our scores of 1 to 10 these are the frequencies 2 4 2 yada 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 and the cumulative frequencies so we're going to enter this data into our table So these are the marks. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And these are the frequencies. Two, four, two, one, six, eight. Seven six two two. I said eight, I typed seven, but now it's an eight. Okay, now to get our frequency histogram, we need the class boundaries. Where does where does each column start and end? Well, if we want the middle of the column to be one, that means it actually has to start. 0 0.5 and that one's got to end at 1.5 the next one starts at 1.5 and ends at 1.2 so this is just going to be equal to the one above plus one we're going to fill that down until we get to 10.5 So these are our class boundaries. That's the boundaries. So if we move that aside, in the input box, I'm going to make it really big so you can see what's happening. We need the class boundary, select that whole column, then we right click and we want to create a list. It's called L1. And we also want a list of the frequencies. Create a list, that's L2. Now we want to do a histogram, so we're going to type in histogram we've got a whole lot of different options for the histograms but we'll just do the first one we need a list of class boundaries and a list of heights so the list of class boundaries is l1 and the list of heights is l2 move this back over and we move our graphics panel over here and we can make that a bit smaller so there's our frequency histogram we can change the look of this change the settings here's some of the setting options we don't want to show the label I'm going to make it blue and I make it less transparent but that's just visual styling zoom in a bit we can get down the bottom we've got one up to eleven that's our histogram we also want 
the polygon. Now for the polygon, we need it's going to go through the midpoints, which are the marks. But we need to start at zero. That's why I left the, col the row here, so I can put the zero in there. And it's got to end at 11. So it's going to start at zero here. And it's going to go from 1 up to 11. And the frequencies, well, we want it to start at 0, 0. So that's also got to be 0. And it's also got to end at 0 there. So we put in an extra row for the mark and the frequency at 0, 0. And an extra row at the end, meaning 11, 0. So we select those two columns. Right click and we're going to create the polyline. You can change the color of that, selecting the polyline, change it to red. In fact, I'm going to go in edit settings even further. I want the style, line opacity 100%, and I don't want to show the points. So it's just clicking these little circles next to each point, it just shows and hides the point on and off. Point's still there, it's just not shown anymore. And I've got a little label here for F. I can turn the label off, show label that F goes away. So there we have our frequency histogram and frequency polygon. We can edit a few more things. I don't want the grid. Go to graphics. Go to our settings, I only the positive directions. And I can even change the settings and make the font nice and big. Font size 24. They have a really nice frequency histogram and polygon. That can then be screen captured, and you can go put all kinds of labels on it, all the labels that you want and need.